guys, hope you're doing super, super well. I just wanted to hop on my um, intro for my YouTube video before we get into the get ready with me and Emily, which I'm really excited for you guys to see, and I hope you enjoy. I wanted to tell you all a little bit about today's sponsor for today's video, and that is Revolut. I'm actually really excited to be working with them. I've worked with them previously on Instagram, you guys know I really do love them. If you don't already know, they are a financial super app. Um, I think over 16 million people worldwide use Revolut. So if you haven't heard about them yet, I really, really think look into them, click the link below, see what your thoughts are and check them out because I am so converted to the Revolut way of life. You actually get a £20 welcome bonus if you click the link below and use my link. So make sure you do that. It's a really good incentive to get you trying out the app and seeing what you think about it. T's and C's apply, but definitely use my link below. As you guys can see, I have a couple of Selfridges bags behind me and that is because with the Revolut app, you can actually get up to 8% cash back when you shop Selfridges. Now it doesn't stop with Selfridges. There's so many brands that you can get cash back on. ASOS, Nike, Adidas, JD Sport, and even products that we use in today's video from Look Fantastic. So if you like some of the products me and Emily are using in our Get Ready With Us, and you think, oh, I wanna try some of them out, make sure you check out Look Fantastic via your Revolut card, because that way you can get 20% off Look Fantastic, which is kind of crazy at the moment. So I highly recommend. Not only is there cashback and offers across loads of stores, there's also cashback and amazing offers and discounts across entertainment and food places, which I think is so exciting. As you guys can see, I went for this black card, but there's loads and loads of options on the site. You can actually personalize your card too with really cool emojis and have loads of different names printed on the card. I just went for my standard name and I went for black because I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool and sleek, but they also do this in gold, pink, the list is endless. So make sure you check out my personal link below for the £20 bonus when signing up to Revolut. It really is a great app and if you've got any specific questions, feel free to ask me below and I'll be down there replying to you guys' comments. Now let's get straight into the get ready with us. Okay. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. I've got Emily here oh, she's again. grinning like the Cheshire cat there. Here she is. I was doing that in your video. I was doing like this weird face in the yeah, corner going. Smiling. Um, I have not filmed, don't like you, but I've not filmed a get ready with me. Yes. Or a makeup type vid. No. Or something of this thing in forever. For like forever. I watch her old ones all the time. We actually link them below on your channel where like we're like raving and like we're going on a night out yeah, and they're really funny. I know. This is not a night out vibe, by the way. This no. is a, we're in the middle of the day. Yeah. I'm very excited. I feel like we haven't spoken about products that we like, makeup, things that we like. I haven't shown like my everyday makeup routine in forever. No, neither have I. And I've actually been getting a few questions recently. Here we go. You can send them to this video then. Well, that's what I mean. We're just using completely different things. I don't know about you. I've tried so many new products that I've not told anyone about. Wow. We're both here. I'm going to leave this M M's channel below. We're filming loads of content today, so there should be loads of videos hopefully coming out soon of yeah. us together, which I hope you like. You might hate it, and if you do, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, but it's coming anyway. But yeah, you're gonna get it. Tell <laughs> my story. If there's anything in particular you want us to discuss, let me know. Okay. And if we feel comfortable discussing it, then we will. Okay. This is really annoying me. How do people do this so effortlessly? I need to make sure my face because it's like dehydration 101. Also, if exactly. anyone at home is thinking you wear her eyebrows, I haven't had my eyebrows tinted probably in about six months. So they're there, they're just hiding. Her very fair. This moisturizer. I know. I it's wish it wasn't like £100. Oh, pounds. £100? So expensive. Buy on Sunday Riley. This is um, the tidal. This is nice for the summer. Right. It's quite light as, for a moisturizer, but sometimes I quite like that when I'm putting things like the Bobbi Brown stuff on my skin anyway. Yeah, which is quite heavy. Because it's quite rich, that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the lamination process that you had? I'm do you obsessed with it. I literally don't know why I didn't do it before. It suits your brow type. There, I have a lot of brow mm. going on, so I'm very happy with it because they're just tamed. Like, I don't know. I don't think my hair's that coarse, what it kind of is. But whenever I'd brush my brows, they were just full. Like, they'd be back to normal state within they'd 10 like, seconds. Yeah. down now. And I'm like, well, hang on a minute. No matter how much brow gel, like, it didn't matter what I used. It just wasn't working. No. So now they're laminated, they stay in place. That's which good. Is great. I actually now, I'm older, I really think that base products are so important to your makeup. 100%. You could use, like, a, you know, L'Oreal or a Maybelline foundation or a whatever concealer, whatever. But I think if your base 
isn't right is nice no matter if it's like expensive or not but yeah. it just will make such a difference what should we talk about current affairs or is that a bit too deep and dark let's talk about current affairs should we talk about um, i was gonna say should we talk about bojo but let's not get political here <laughs> i was gonna say what do we think of the scandal but no. actually i can't be dealing with the drama in the no. comment section so let's let's not we're not gonna be bitchy we're just gossiping gonna have a little gossip who's doing what let's talk about little mix oh my god yeah let's talk about little mix and um, it's kind of random Comment below, what are your thoughts on the Little Mix situation? Mm, I'm Love, sad. Very sad situation, I think. Yeah, like you were friends for a very long time. We were all good pals, and that seems to have been thrown out the bloody window and dri driven over. Yeah, literally driven over seven times. Right. It is actually very sad, like, yeah. What went on there? What do we think about Jessie Nelson's song? Do we think she was blackfishing? Do we not? Genuinely curious because some people argue that she wasn't and some people obviously argue that she was. Yeah. What do we think about it? Let's let's say what we think. I think I don't think it's a song I would put on my current playlist. Bad boys and she went out with thingy from Love Island. Yeah. I don't Maybe know. Maybe it was a little bad boy. Maybe. True. Like, wouldn't that be the worst thing if, if you went out? I don't think I could ever go out with an artist because if they wrote a song about me, I'd be horrified. I, I, know, I think about that about Adele though. Yeah, God, the poor she husband. She into the husband. She literally was like, sorry, hon, here we go. Yeah, here's all my dirty laundry. Yeah, that's kind of like when you go out with someone that's in that industry, you're kind of like, blimmin' neck. Am you I going to get a song? Am I not? If you don't get a song, then you must have really been quite boring. But then you might get a really nice song. You might get like a really nice love song. Yeah, which would be cute. Just don't leave anything behind, do they? They're just like, by the way, this is everything... He just left it. He just walked off. Oh, that's fine. I think he just walked off. I just saw a man in a high vis walking away. That's fine because I have this on my face. He'd be very concerned. Um, yeah, I I he left know. it though, or has he like rung it and then he's waiting for you? No, he's shutting his mouth. Might be the guy that gives the dog treats. Yeah, it is. I'm coming. Fuck! I've literally got moisturizer on my face. He's smiling. No, I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi! It's like you can send it back to my own body package. Did you like that? Hi! So it's George's. He's really cute. So, but the problem is now every single time I get delivery and Bonnie's here, she's like, what have yeah. you got for me? And Does he know like, what you do or no? I don't think so. You've never told him. Because he's probably he's never him. asked. Why are they filming themselves? Or have I? Yeah, maybe I have because he's always like got 10 boat. Um, yeah, parcels for you. Parcels for me, yeah. He's really sweet. We love him. Going back to the Jesse Nelson Little Mix situation. Would you put it on your playlist? The song? No, I didn't vibe the song. Sorry. I just didn't like that. I'm sure loads of people didn't like the song. I didn't, I didn't the like line. the hate that she got when she came out at Jingle Bell Ball, oh when people were literally like booing her and chanting off the stage. Like, if you don't like someone, like, fair, but you have to be like, right. savage about it. Yeah. But then at the same time, the way that she handled it, like saying like she has to leave the music industry and then sort of release a song, I can imagine for the girls that was quite like, well, if that's what went down, but we don't know, do we? No, we, n we will never know, and that's the problem. But we think I we do know. think if you, yeah, say that you need a break from the public because of various different things and every, everything is valid, but then you come out and make a song and want to profit off it. I know. What, so what's actually happening? And then? it got nasty between her and, was it? Um, Nicki Minaj. No, no, her and Nicki Minaj are pals. It got nasty between not her and Jade, her Leanne. and Leanne. Yeah, yeah. I always go to call but her and Leah. Because it's about it's like Ellie, that. Ellie, yeah. Yeah, I think it got quite savage between the two of them, apparently. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Very sad because, like I say, you were friends at one point. But then I suppose, I, I keep forgetting, it's like One Direction as well. Like, they were put together. That's they true. were never friends before. They never chose really to be in a band. band. And it's quite intense yeah. working like that with someone, probably. Yeah, that you literally don't know, and you you probably all have completely different personalities. Did you watch the little mix? Um, the thing where they were hunting for like a new, they were trying to put together a new band, yeah. and they were like, Ish. I felt like there was tension in that. Oh god! Oh my god! Yeah. Hi hey guys. What, what's going on now? What are you putting on the face? Um, this, which I think you'd really enjoy. Right. The. Uh, it cosmetics oh, CC cream. Things. I find it's really heavy. It. it is very heavy. In a good way. It says it's a CC cream, but I am like, you're not. You're a foundation. Huh? Yeah, that's what I've heard. But it's got SPF 50. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, really good. And it doesn't. You know when the only SPF that I can put on my face before makeup that doesn't like have any flashback or like make my makeup that's look what weird. I was going to ask you if it's got flashback. Is La Roche Posay? I don't think it does. No, because we've been out before and it, looks, it doesn't. It, does. it yeah. sits lovely on the skin. Oh my god, I just love it. Very dewy. Yeah, you very dewy. Like so, a similar finish of foundation. Yeah. So even though it's thick, it's like 
It doesn't look thick. Yeah, I'm going with an old classic, Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I use that as well. well. I up and I use quite, I use a dark shade and a lighter shade. It's all blooming out. Cause it's getting more, like it is winter now, but in the summer I just use 5.5. Yeah, I use four. Cause it adds a really nice brown, bronzy glow. People use it as a foundation. That's a bit wild to me. Yeah, I don't think I could. I think my skin's too oily for that. I just, it's not got enough coverage for me. It's and it's too, very shimmery. It's so shiny. Yeah. Would be nice if you wanted to do like a no makeup on my it. Yes. Cause like on the, on the cheek. It looks great. Mm. I keep, sorry, we've got a mirror here and I keep looking at George in that mirror. So if you see me looking off in space, I'm actually Because I can't actually see, I can see you in it right now. Yeah, I can see you in it. I can't mm. see myself. Mm. So neither of us can see ourselves. <laughs> so what's the point? You can tell me if I look alright. Well, I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep leaning into it. You, do you know you watch that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, right, let's have a look if there's any more. Oh, let's talk about Adele then, following on from Little <gasps> Mix. Oh my God, I'm let's going to see her. Hopefully, she what? doesn't bloody cancel. What, what's everyone's thoughts on the cancellation? Oh. Do Because I've read different things on TikTok. Some people were very sad for her. They're like, babe, don't worry, these things happen. Yeah. COVID's been a mess for everyone. Do you know who I think those people are? Some people are angry. The people that aren't going to a concert. I agree. That didn't some of them haven't paid tickets to get to Vegas. Yeah, they're those people. The people that feel sad for her, the people that weren't going anyway. I do still feel sad. I mean, I'm one of the people that Yeah, it's like I'm a sad going. situation. Yeah, I feel bad for it because what would you do? Like, oh my, I wouldn't want to address that many people. So I've got a very creaky chair going in there. You're all right. Huh? I just want to get comfy so I can really chat not make any more noises yeah. don't worry i'm wrestling around all the time what do you do if Would i was her yeah i'd try and pull something together people have the amount of promo and things she's done people have waited for this residency in vegas i am shocked what you couldn't just do you know what, say you're gonna go acoustic and if yeah. people turn up they turn up like i am just sad for people because i think people forget the sacrifices people make in order to go and see someone they've booked it off work they've flown across yeah. country but they've paid for a hotel they've paid all these things yeah like, and I'm not, that's not her fault, but when you're the front man, when you're the show, showman. Show must go on. <sighs> I just think I would turn up to the concert when, when everyone's already there and just go, by the way, this is what happened, da, 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 because I think it's more personal rather than putting an Instagram video out. I agree. Being like, hey, uh, show's cancelled, I'm really upset. Obviously, she's really upset, but I just think I would show up and then just wing it. What baffled me was, how did no one know that? until this last minute that it wasn't gonna happen? Surely right. you know a week before, right, okay, actually, schedulings, this isn't gonna happen. Yeah. Or like, not like literally a couple of days, wasn't it like two days before? It was 24 hours before. That's what's quite shocking. I'm very intrigued about people's thoughts. Look, I always feel like I'm very like diplomatic and I'm like, poor her, of course poor her. Yeah. I think that's a given. That but at the same time, if you've spent a bloody fortune going to see her and she cancels the show 24 hours, you're gonna you're gonna be annoyed. I also would love to know if those people that had bought tickets, did they get emailed or did they find out like the rest of us through Instagram? Surely not. Because imagine you missed the video. <coughs> they must have got you. They you what, you turned up. up. Yeah, and you're like, where is she at? Oh my God, I don't even know. I'm just confused how no one knew this wasn't gonna happen sooner. Yeah, that is the thing. That's the bit that confused me. But OnlyFans. Oh. What, the fact you've settled up? <laughs> I have not, before that rumour gets out there. Um, what, yeah. What are your overall thoughts on OnlyFans? What do you think about um, people doing it? You do you, I never would. Right. I think that's my thoughts. If you feel comfortable enough, then- Is that because we're in a financial position where we wouldn't need to? I just, I think personally, I would do something else to make money. Right. Personally. It's such a what happens business, if somebody it? said to you, oh, I'm playing devil's advocate by the way, because I just think, spice it up. Your underwear pictures that you post, that we both post, that I've, I've actually don't post as many anymore, because I just... Yeah, why is that? Just don't. But loads of reasons. Loads of reasons. Thanks. Who loves a patch? Um, are creeps. Oh. Are creeps. You well, don't know what they're doing with your images. <clears throat> You don't know what they're doing with it with your images. Yeah. Um, I actually think it's slightly offensive the way some brands want to pay you for content like that. Because it is not about anyone in particular. It is more risque content, whether you want to, you know, admit that it is or not. So if you're gonna do an ad with a brand that, that well, encourages more risque content, yeah. I think the payment should also reflect that. That and also the sex work industry is 
a multi-billion pound industry yeah. because of that, because of the risks that are involved, yeah. because of how much more you're showing. Like it's, it's a it's very a lot private more thing to vulnerable. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, and you're being completely vulnerable when you yeah. do that. Which if you're comfortable to do that, that's of fine. Course. But it doesn't mean you should, be, you should be paid any less just because you decide Not that that's okay with you. Not at all. Do you have a Charlotte Tilbury um, powder? Because I now can't find my number two. No, I have Hourglass. I have that as well. Use... Best concealer. Oh no, don't get me onto it. I don't want it. Best concealer ever. Highly recommend. Doesn't have that much product in it. I did purchase yesterday my old favourite, which is a Dior Forever concealer, which I love as well. Um, because it has quite a bit more... I find it has a lot more product in it, lasts longer. So I've sort of got those two. Yeah. But the Flawless Fusion from um, Laura Mercier is gorgeous concealer. Didn't love the foundation that they've got out. Really? Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but I didn't so love it. not leaving I this. I ended up throwing it. Really? It was kind of leaked a bit, and I just really didn't get on with it. It was so right. cakey, yeah. Mm. I'm never leaving this, because it's great, and it's See, not as expensive. I like this now for certain areas. For under the eyes, I like the Flawless Filter. Yeah. My opinion on OnlyFans is... Honestly, I'm such a feminist, like, do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, I'd hate to live in a society where, like, we are um, covering women up telling other girls what to and do telling them, well. like, not to do what they want with their body, yeah. And, I, you know, I'm so bodily autonomy and all of that. I think young girls that are seeing maybe, like, TikTok stars or Instagram girls or people that do what we do or just celebrities or whatever you are, if you have like a following, quote unquote, yeah. do it and not understand the full repercussions of it. Of the potential, yeah. That's what concerns me more. If you are like 17 and you set up an OnlyFans and you start posting really risque content and then it doesn't work out and you don't make money from it and then unfortunately you try and get a job and an employer does see those images, rightly or wrongly, they might then judge you, yeah. rightly or wrongly, and then you could potentially lose out on your future because of that. Like, I just think people need to understand the full complexities of starting an OnlyFans. It's not just like a flippant thing. Yeah, like, oh, I do OnlyFans. Yeah, I get But then the only thing is, is if you post that sort of content on Instagram and you don't get paid for it, in a way, more luck to you that you're going to then post it on another app yeah. and profit off it because you're not profiting off it on Instagram. Yeah. So I think it's really, really complicated. I just think we've got a little bit where people don't think about like the long term sometimes. And everything's a quick decision. Everything's like da, da 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 like we're also instant with everything. Yeah. I also think you could post pictures of your feet. <laughs> Definitely. You could literally post pictures of your feet. Doesn't have to be. Sorry, we're literally just assuming. It's amazing. Yeah, it can be anything. Like um, if, if I had to do that, because I need, that's probably what I'd do to be honest. Yeah, the feet thing. You want to see my big toe? Go for it. I just... Doesn't bother me. I don't what know. do you think your boyfriend would think? He wouldn't like it. Even if you did your feet? Oh, no, I don't think he would like it. Really? Because the people that are looking at those images have a perverse, <laughs> they're, they're perverted. Yeah. They're not looking at them because they're like, oh, nice pedicure. No, true. And I think that's what he wouldn't like, that there's it's perverse creepy. people creeping on you. Yeah, it's quite creepy. Yeah. I think I'd just be definitely afraid. But also, that's not why I'd make a decision. No. No, thanks. Sorry, I'd make a decision because it's what I want to do. For the sake of yourself, yeah. Yeah, but I just think, just be careful with the OnlyFans thing, that's yeah. all. God, this chair's really pissing me off, sorry. Then also, so you know, nuts. some women are making a mint off of silly little men. Sorry, but they are. They're making absolute mint off of the men being like, oh, she's in her new underwear. Yeah, it's funny. And it's kind of like, yeah, boss bitch energy. So it's, I feel so many different ways about the whole thing. I'm really happy for the people that do it. I personally wouldn't. Yeah. Like, I don't have any negative feeling about it. Like, literally you do, do what you want. Yeah. That is the only thing I would say is if you're slightly younger or you or want to do something person. different with your future. Yeah. And yeah. You, don't, you don't want that to be around forever. It's going to be around forever. Yeah. Like, anything that you put on the internet is going to be around forever. I agree. So. Think about it. Just think boyfriend and I, not me, by the way, <laughs> this is a question now. You said this to yourself. <laughs> I know, I've got, I, don't, I didn't. <laughs> oh god, now I can't read it. <laughs> My boyfriend and I have sex like once a month. Is it normal? I kind of want it more, but I don't know how to say. I don't think you need to say, just do. Mmm. Like. I'm not really like that though. What do you mean? I'm you not an instigator. Do you know what? Instigator, that's the word. <laughs> instigator. At least you didn't say interrogator. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think a lot of girls aren't. Mm, I'm not. 
No, I don't think I am really. And I wish I was, because I'm like, wow. I think I can be. Powerful women, women out there. After a couple of drinks, I'll be like, you're a great idea. Okay, that's that's a fair point. When you get a bit confident. When you get a bit, you get a bit cocky. Yeah, literally. Like, you're literally like, oh, let me take the lead. And then sometimes I'm like, no way, did your mind. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he want, would be more than happy to accommodate. I'm absolutely sure he will be. Yeah. Or maybe he's the one that's like, mm, what are you feeling? I wonder how long they've been together, because I think that does have like... Yeah, by the way, also, I think it's completely normal. Whatever your situation is, yeah. is normal to you. Like, there's no abnormalities when it comes to sex, the way you live your life, like anything like that. Unless you're not, unless you're harming someone, there's nothing wrong with it. Like... Good advice. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. well, don't start by thinking it's not normal. Normal, it's yeah. Normal. Um, Everyone's different. I think communicate with him these these things. Yeah, talk about it. I mean, the only thing is you don't want to take the like, you don't want to make it then seem planned. That's hard. Yeah. You know what I mean, then if you talk about it, then is it like a planned thing? You know what people say about that they like when you're married and have kids and stuff, mm. and they're like, "Oh, we now schedule it." Do they actually schedule it in? Like, as in they get their diary out and go. Oh, I can see myself being one of them people. Really? Like, I, I just, I've got so much going on. I need to, like, <laughs> figure out. Yeah, but there's not that much going on when you go out to bed. Yeah, but you could just be, honestly, babe, if you got up, say you've been, like, you could be literally knackered. Well, that's what I think. That's but you could genuinely mean. want to go to bed. But so do they, do they literally book it in is what I'm saying? Like, as in, do they literally say this Thursday and then you're, like, sat there waiting for this Thursday? Maybe. We don't know. have like children and like chaos no. around us, so we don't know what that's like. Comment below if you schedule it in your yeah. naughty time. I'm interested, I'm genuinely intrigued. What, what would, advice would you give to her? Just, Maybe yeah, she should, like you said, really. try and initiate it, that's a good idea. Yeah. Or try and like set up a bit more of a mood. Yeah. So like, at home date night. Yeah, so that's more like of a possibility. But yeah, it would be more tactile. Oh, I'm very, I'm probably the most tactile person you'll ever meet in your life. There we go. God, I'm all about that. The, the, here we go, we're getting it all now. I'm like a Klingon, like I really am. You know, like love languages, bloody love love languages. I love like discussing people's and finding out what people are like. Mm -hmm. Mine is... Um, Affection. Yeah, God. Mm -hmm. What are yours? Because five, isn't there? Affection, gifts, acts of... Not service, acts of kindness or something. Um, words of affirmation and something else. I don't know. What are the ones that you would want in a partner? Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Feel secure, you know. Yeah, like confidence. Um, well. Definitely affection. Yeah. Like, I did. I watched this TikTok the other day with Leon actually, <laughs> and it was this girl. It's actually really sad. Oh, no. And she was like, "I'm not gonna kiss my boyfriend all day. I'm gonna see how long till he kisses me." I've seen me. And it was like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and it was like seven p.m., nine p.m. at night, and like. He yeah, like nothing, but then I watched her second TikTok and she was like, "We're married, like we're engaged and we've got a baby, like it's, right. we are together, like it's, fine. It, it's just that's not what he's like." Yeah, and I was like, "Like that is fair, like you know." Liam's yeah. like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I was like, "Well, that's some true. people aren't just aren't like that, like," and maybe he just didn't even realize. Some people just don't even realize that they're doing something. Literally, because I'm sure there's things she just probably doesn't realize that she's doing. Exactly. It's really funny because when you read out that list, I was like, God, I'm struggling for myself. I can see what ones he, he's probably every single one of them. Really? Acts of kindness, 100%. Like, we'll just do something without me asking, like, it'll be done. Yeah. Um, yeah, what am I? Is it acts of It's like taking the bin down, things like that. Yeah. Um, that's not acts of kindness, but like, as in, little uh, thing, one yeah. of the love languages is like thinking, like, don't think of the well. thing that's, uh, yeah, what yeah. the other person's gonna have to do and already doing it for them. Yeah. Yeah, what are yours? I really don't know. Sorry. You must. You're quite affectionate. I, oh no, I am quite affectionate, but not in like public setting. Yeah, see I'm not though. Like when we're around our friends, yeah. people probably think, Christ, do they actually like each other? Yeah. I, I barely like touch him. But that's fine. Because I that, don't ever, like, because also- You want to don't want to make someone else feel awkward. No, like we, yeah. we hang out with you a lot when yeah. you're on your own. Like I'm sure if we were both on a date- So you were like, we're not going to touch each other like every two seconds. Exactly. Yeah, what I don't do? ever like, want to make someone feel, feel like awkward. that. awkward. Yeah, no, I do get you. And there's a lot of settings that we have where we're like with one of our friends, so whether it's his friend or my friend, and I'm ne I'm never gonna be like, oh my god, like, oh my god, I love you. I've had conversations with people with their significant other cheering their freaking ear off, and I'm not having it. Yeah, it's not for me. You. Thank you. I do feel you. Time and a place. I think mine's probably like, like if someone was like, oh, we need to go here, or I need to do that, or like I would just drop everything to do whatever they want. Yes. 
And like, if they have a problem, like, they'll probably sit and talk to them about it for about seven hours. Yeah. So maybe things like that. Yeah. I don't really know. Sorry. Sorry. I struggle to say um, anything good that I do, so. Stop. God, you I really do, this, though. I love this powder. Getting really angry. I'm due on, that's why. I don't know. <laughs> the hourglass, you're really angry with it. Mm. Next to me, yeah. I think it doesn't look. But my eyelids do that. I just take a light powder, like a light brownie bronzer, and it fixes it. Yeah, but I've so I've already fixed it, and now it's clumped, and right. now it's stuck because it's now powder. Oh god, guys, it's really going about peak tongue over here. I've got a really good one. What are you talking about, George? Honestly, guys, this is like not right. Look, Come on. look. You're lying if you say that looks fine. You're talking about your like eyelids. Like yes. See, but I would just put a brown color. Like I, I powder my, like look at my eyelids, eyelids. they're all eyes. veiny and everything and then I just put like a bronzy colour over them. My friend bought OnlyFans but apparently he did it in, to, apparently he did it to fit in at work and deleted the pics after. I don't believe that for one second. But what do you think about him buying OnlyFans? Why is he buying OnlyFans? Why do boys watch porn? But boys don't pay for porn. Some boys do. I'd be, I'd be upset if. That was the case. I know, it's really weird because I actually read it and I kind of agree with you, but then I'm okay with, I think people like, boys Boys watch porn. Uh, not all. Yeah, lo loads. Loads well, yeah, of people in relationships, they're, they're not with their part, like, well, uh, loads. Not. And people get so offended about it and it's like... No, we get offended about it. I would get offended by someone spending money on something like that. Yeah, Especially same. if you live in the same house, if you share your bills, if you share your financial situation. Yeah. I don't want my I'm money funding your, very much. your time on the old... Yeah. OnlyFans, and also it feels more personal. Like then, a lot of these OnlyFans accounts are like girls that have like Instagrams that then make like an only. I don't know. Like there's a real person behind it, which obviously, which obviously, that obviously is, is important. important. But they're so famous, type thing. Yeah, I don't it's know. Like, yeah, it feels more like it could be like the girl around the corner that has an OnlyFans account yeah. that you see in the pub on a Sunday. Yeah. And he's subscribed to her OnlyFans to fit in at work as well. That kind of makes you feel a bit sick. What you need to fit in that bad that you do. do you that's so. That's so. You disrespect your girlfriend. That's yeah. such. Yeah. That wouldn't be an excuse for me. Like if I've if I've been disrespected, if you if your excuse is because you wanted to fit in, no, thank you. So mm -hmm. you would cross a line. It is a bit. They clearly had drawn. It is a bit strange. I mean, yeah. Like they clearly had a line there and he crossed it. And it's the deleting pics afterwards. Like why have you got it then? Well, he's got it. You may as well keep yeah. the bloody pictures. If you're deleting anything off your phone, then you already know it should be. You That's already know so it's true, not right. I don't think I've ever deleted anything off my phone. phone ever. And I couldn't care less if like ever. You know when you have those people, like I've I've had friends do it, and they're like, oh no, don't go on my phone. Or like, don't do this, and I'm like, okay. I've never. Well, then they do it with their partner, and they'll be like, can I borrow? Them? Why? Why do you need to borrow my phone? I've never, ever, ever deleted anything off my phone. But I probably should, maybe. For other people like from previous like relationships, I've never even scrolled back and deleted old pictures. Oh, right. Not yeah. pictures like that, I just mean couple pictures. Yeah. Because yeah, I just haven't got the time. I've, I haven't sat down for an hour and scrolled all the way back and gone like, delete, delete, delete. And yeah. also this whole like, deleting that, because I was, right, this is really interesting. So I was listening to Sophia and Chintz's podcast and they were talking about how when you split up from a relationship, you should delete all old images, right? They said, they they like said that. that, right? Okay. If that didn't end toxic, okay, with someone, that is a part of your story. That is it. Are you erasing that chunk of your life, like, as if it wasn't a thing? Yeah, my dad says And if someone can't thing. respect the fact that you obviously had partners before you met, yeah. if they're that naive to think you're, the, like, as in, the only if you got together later on in life, yeah. Well, that's just a bit silly, really. Yeah. You're obviously happy in your new situation. Just because you've got old pictures of you and an ex-boyfriend on your phone does not mean... You're going back there. That you're going, like, yeah. yeah. That is a part of your life, like it's a chapter. My dad's always said like, it's literally part of your history. Cause you know, every, like the same thing, everyone always like splits up with someone. The first thing they do, do is like delete all the, the first, pictures. Yeah, the only reason I know some people have split up is because suddenly they all would delete all their pictures. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh, well they're obviously not together anymore. But dad's always been like, it's literally part of happen? your life. Like, yeah, it's part of your, he's got like old pictures of when he was kids and like ex-girlfriends are in them as yeah. in like printed or, uh, not like, like, film pictures, yeah. yeah. And he's like, well, I'm not gonna get rid of it. My mum doesn't expect it. Like, like he's, he's not, not with those people. Ill. Like, oh my God, get that girl away from Because literally, it's an act. Like, it's it past doesn't... relationships. Yeah. And dad never, like, he doesn't, mm, he has, probably has some people that he ends with bad dad on, but he doesn't, I'm, I'm literally airing my dad's dirty laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I was saying. <laughs> I don't mean to, like, 
I don't mean it in that way. No, I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is... Like, he never had a relationship that ended so badly. If you want to delete them, that's fine. Yeah. But if you don't, that doesn't mean that you're not done with the relationship or that you, the person you're with should be worried. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, nude pictures and things like that, 100%. I think that's just... I think that's etiquette. I think that's respect. Yeah. If you're no longer with that yeah. person, you've got... Don't inappropriate use. images of them on your phone yeah. like yeah i think that's that is a little bit of like just relationship etiquette but um i do think like old pictures of you when you were maybe like i don't know 15 yeah. Yeah. i mean really and like you said i've got 100 000 pictures on my phone <laughs> there's a load of photos i've never deleted that i that i probably should like is it you know that you're just never just, gonna use again yeah that are just yeah. there so i feel like whenever i do my makeup like on a get ready it turns out so bad so why is that do you think it's because there's so many lights on we're actually seeing what we're doing i think it's hard to talk and do your makeup we've established that i'm not loving this today maybe it's just today i don't know why guys because i am loving it 24 well, first time i tried it i was obsessed with it but do you know what i actually used it with the hourglass stick foundation it was amazing right so you used like all our hourglass products yeah and the combo was great so maybe that's part of the issue but this is i just can't beat this now the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish. I do like that. I'm I don't always like how it wears. It does wear off, like, isn't it? I have to top it up. High. But it's really, like, I just find it really easy to just, oh, dab, and then you're completely mad again. Like, in these areas, I always put it around my nose, like, there. Because my foundation's so dewy. Good point. It's a great powder tab on the go. Yeah, and it's I, so I was good. obsessed with it a few years ago. So skinny. Everyone needs to wear it and buy it all the time. Yeah, you got me onto it. Yeah, I really did. Um, I do like it. I like it, as you just said, more of a like on the go type powder rather than. I do like it under the eyes. Yes. Depends on what sort of like powder finish you like and your skin type though. Yeah, I agree. If you're slightly more like oily or more pow or more dry <laughs> or <laughs> if you're more of a powdery person, then I feel bad. <laughs> powdery person. <laughs> Problem like. Do you ever have it where you try out some, a product because someone everyone raves is talking about, about it? Yeah, and then I'm like, what are you talking about? This is crap. Yeah. Why did you make me try it? I'm going to send you a message and say, waste of time. You're not very good at recommendations. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. No, me neither. But, you know, some people would. Didn't you leave a review when we went to that restaurant? Oh, my gosh. I left a review. I was talking about this on a vlog, but I don't know who, how many people saw it. I left a review of, what's the place called? Madison. She who shall not be named. Madison Rooftop. Yeah. Madison Rooftop. Yeah. Oh, she's being named. She, oh, she's being named. She's being named and shamed. <laughs> yeah, Madison true. Rooftop, you were crap. I was shocked at the amount of... Well, I actually wasn't shocked because our experience was so bad, but I was shocked at the amount of messages. I got that, saying that people had yeah. bad experiences. And when you go on TripAdvisor, there are some bad, bad reviews as well. We were not alone. There was the most sexist man to ever walk this earth. It was Okay, unreal. slightly dramatic. He's definitely not the most sexist man. No, it's probably but like for somebody that's running a business and like it's supposedly like a manager of a restaurant or whatever, a rooftop place that's yeah. got like this amazing reputation. The sexism there oh, was horrendous. I've I'm not accepting I actually don't think I will ever process what happened because I literally just... I was, I was like, furious. What? Like, you know what's... You were furious you were like, as well though. Yeah, because I was... But then I was also stood there just thinking... I can't, I don't understand how you've just said that to me. So we just ran away. They're really nice lashes. Thanks, they're kind of like Delaney's ones. Yeah, I love them. I'll try and link them below because they're Ilya, you can buy them in Boots and Super Drug. Sorry, I just smashed you then. It's alright. No, you um, So let's just give a little brief synopsis. Sorry if you've heard this story already. Sorry, but you're hearing it again. We went out. We went to 100 Wardour Street for dinner. That was a shit show. <laughs> that was a disaster. That was one of the way, worst meals we've ever had. Literally, can we just sum this up? I planned this whole night <laughs> and the whole thing. Just, That's not your fault. I know, but just one thing after another. We then drove, like, we got in an Uber and drove half an hour one way and went back half an hour another. Like, nothing went right. And I was like, do you know what? I'm never going to plan that out. It was like just after COVID, like, and we wanted to do something really fun and really nice at like, restaurants and bars. It all opened again. We were so excited to be together. Like, it was the Mallorca gang. Yeah. Oh, us yeah. four. It was like a nice girly thing, which yeah. we should definitely do something together soon. Yes. Um, and it was like just meant to be a lighthearted, nice time. Go to 100 Wardour Street. I had been there on the Thursday. No, 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 I was going, going on the Saturday. Saturday. I was going twice in one week. Yeah, we were there on the We Saturday. had quite possibly one of the most awful meals. As in, all our food came at different times. It was freezing cold for some people. Lift was fr like they'd got it out of the fridge. Cold. Not just cold, like as in it was freezing cold pasta. And it came like, and then she had to wait, and then it came like an hour afterwards. Yeah. 
Um, we didn't get our starters that we asked for. Oh yeah, I forgot. It was that. just honestly, it genuinely was a mess. It's and then they kept happening. bringing over to everyone like glasses of prosecco. They were saying it was champagne or whatever. We got glasses of something bubbly. You yeah. never know, but it's like when you're just getting given it. Yeah. Um, After two bottles of rosé as well. Yeah, and like apologising to everyone because it was just such a mess. And I, we sort of thought it was a blip. I went back on the Saturday. It was not a blip. I had another oh, horrific worse. meal on the Saturday. It was, even worse, the table next to us was complaining. They then gave the table next to us like all their money off the bill. They refused to give us. Why? Because we were trying to make it fun even though it was so bad. Yeah. So we weren't doing the whole like sulking thing because we were like, we have, this is our night out. Like, we want to try and enjoy it. Yeah. And I think they thought like, oh, they they had a fine evening. No, we literally, we didn't eat our dinner till 12 at night. I know. I we did not get our story. dinner till 12 at night. Honestly, the whole thing was nuts. Anyway, we then went, went to Madison's and well, went from bad to worse. It literally went from bad to worse. <laughs> I wanted to go there for so long because everyone's like, it's so lovely up there. And then I was like, uh, yeah, the view's great when you're sitting in the middle of the restaurant and you can't even see the window. It was honestly... And this is height of COVID. No, like, with, with like crumbs opened. and food all over the table. Yeah. But our, so we booked a table and we walked in and I was like, oh, we booked a table. This name is on the blah, blah, blah. And then um, they were like, oh, your table's over there. And I was like, why is there two ladies sitting on it? Yeah. There were, there this were two is in people. COVID. So bear in mind also, we had to get in the lift. We had to split up. We so would let, of us. So there's a party of four. They would only let three. Three in the lift at a time. So, so we, one of us downstairs. So we had to do two and two in the lift because we weren't all four of us allowed in the lift. But then when we got to the restaurant, they wanted to try and put us on a table with two other people so that we never met before. Them, never met. So the whole COVID, like I'm not the COVID police at all, but what I mean is, is make it make sense. That made no sense. Not one part of it made sense. <laughs> like zero sense. So we were like, oh, there's two people sat on the table. They're like, yeah, it's a sharing table. I was like, we like, we'll paid a deposit and like we put, because like, also they were sat by the the only tables in Madison that you can see the view if you're inside is round the outside. Yeah. Like oh god, it's so shady. Um, but if you sit in the middle of the restaurant where you eat, you can't see the view, the view. at all. Maybe because the window did I see. So then they like put us on this table which had no table setting. Like it was just like a brown table, like no tablecloth. Which I'm not trying to be that person. I it couldn't like, I go. I love Anales. I love a McDonald's. That's not no, what I'm no, saying. This was like a diner and a service station. And you're paying a disgusting amount of money per drink. Like you, I'm sorry, you want the experience, no? Yeah. And then we sat there and we were all kind of like faces a little bit like sulky. And Phoebe, who we were out with, she worked, she worked, not now, but she did work in the hospitality industry. Yeah. So she was like, do you know what? This isn't acceptable. Like I work in the hospitality industry. It's this not is not goes. okay. You guys booked a table months ago. This is not acceptable. Blah, 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 blah. So we sort of like made a comment to like who was the manager, we assume. Yeah. And he was sort of like, um, don't worry, I'll get you a drink. What would you like? A shot? What would you like? A shot? You're like, yeah, okay. Sambuca. That's nice. So these shots come over. We're just about to do them, and I thought, I just have this feeling that these are not complimentary shots. Even though he literally worded it like, do you don't want worry? Like, don't let worry. Let's like, get you a shot, and like, let's try and make the night a good night yeah. type thing. We're like, it's okay, okay. Yeah, you're really kind. Yeah. So they come over, and I'm like, these are complimentary. Like these are, you know, for the inconvenience. And he's like, no. Like laughed at us. Like no. But hang on, before this. Before that, he told me, so cool. I need to smile. You need to smile yeah, more. Yeah, you need to smile more. From a man, you need to smile more. No, you, you, how dare you? I could have just been told a horrific thing. Yeah. I could, well, or even if I don't want to smile, don't tell another woman. I, I'm sorry, I've really got a thing about it. And I know some people say like, that is not really like what feminism should be about, getting annoyed when someone tells you to smile. I find it very sexist. But also, funny enough, that's probably not gonna make me smile. But would you ask a man, would you, would have hit, would that man have asked a 50 year old man sat with his family who maybe looked a bit moody? You need to smile. Sir, you need to smile more. Probably not. No, he would have got a f a cut. He nearly, did. he nearly did. When he told me to smile, you need to smile more, like no, whatever. No, no, no. I was like, you need to f off. I didn't. I felt so angry. <laughs> so angry. Mm. Um, yeah, then he was like, no, they're like not on the house. And we were like, he was like what? No, what do you mean? Like, he was so and rude. I was like, oh, well, we don't want them then. And he was like, well, I've called them now. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay for them. The way you've worded this, you're gonna have to, that was it. You're gonna have to pay for them. And I went, no, we're leaving. And he was like, you're gonna have to pay for them. And it was getting really irate. And we left. Well, you guys ran off and I didn't really get that we were running off. I was like, done, I'm, I'm out of it. No, I think I shouted. Oh my God, I need I to get shouted. I was like, I'm, d I'm not staying here. No, I know, we, li we all left, but it was just so funny because I was like, my bag was on the table and I was like, oh my God, I'm like, trying to get my stuff. And, like, and then I legged it after you. I was like, wait for me. On the way down, I remember they're like groups of girls and I was like, most sexist place, like, don't yeah. go there. Like, don't go there. I was giving like, on the, the way out. The bouncers weren't surprised though. But the bouncers were awful as well. The bouncers no, they were rude. Were, uh, where did the we go where the bouncers were on our side? I uh, uh, Asia. Yeah, Ivy Asia, the bouncers were on our side. And when we went afterwards, be it one, and we told them we'd been to Madison to yeah. say that they were vile, they went, yes, we know they're vile. Like, do you remember? Why be like that? 
the bouncers were horrible. And then I actually went there recently in November, not to Madison's, but to that bit. I was staying in a hotel near there mm. by bank and all around there. And um, there was a bloke, bloke getting thrown out. And he was like, literally, he was like, so he was like, I don't know what I've done. Blah, blah, blah. Really? They were dragging him out, shouting at him. They were being just bullies. They were being bullies, the bouncers. I hate that. So, sorry if you work there or if you've had an amazing time there, but. Yeah, I have had people like have like brad went there for a work meeting and he loved it bless him because we had said about like oh no he had heard about it from friend and he was like oh i'm gonna book it for a work meeting and they got in there and brad and his boss looked at him and went i can't even hear you how are we sugar because they had a like resident dj that night and it was like a little rave like, uh, yeah <laughs> so they went somewhere else but the client they were with actually really enjoyed it so it was fine but it was just so funny I don't know what happened so when we went there. It's not quite a meeting, but... I don't know what happened. I can't even think about the experience. because We just, just went to the Ned, and I couldn't recommend the Ned more. I've seen so many people um, going there, like, recently. Yeah. Like, as in, it's becoming, like, a really nice spot, and I love that, because it is so lovely. It's, like, not... It depends, Great like, what food. you want, but, like... If but it, it has everything you want. No, but if you're someone, if you want, like, if you want, like, a rave vibe... Oh, yeah, probably not that. It's like classical. But like we classes. love it there. Yeah, I love it so much. It's just a nice, it's just like a lovely building. Yeah. The aesthetic is a vibe. The cells are nice, like the bouncers are lovely. Yeah, they are. Doormen, they're not really bouncers, are they? I don't know, <laughs> yeah. We haven't been doing it out, so we <laughs> like it. I just love live music. Like I could sit, we sat there until like two o'clock in the morning, didn't we? Yeah. I did last night, they didn't get until like two. No way. Yeah. Yeah. You can just sit there and like get carried away. I just, just going in my lip gloss. Continue. Sorry. I just, yeah, the Madison situation. I don't know. It really put me off. Like going to places, places that have got Instagram fame. Yeah. You have to be really careful with those places, guys. But that's what made me laugh is the fact that we just went straight on our stories and was like, hey, warning. And they don't know. They don't think about. They don't think about the fact that anyone is going to take that story home I'm, and tell their friends and their family like, don't go there. Like you. Do you know what? I'm don't don't normally like, like that. If you don't want to be nice. Like I never want to back a company or a brand like all my stories because i know that we have like more people watching them so i never want to like do that oh god we're about to time out oh and i've just bloody sat down there we go there we go like as in i don't want to be that person but then at the same time you would leave a bad you would leave a review or you would tell your friends if you had four followers so why should you not if you all the more reason you should tell people that it wasn't very good yeah we tell people when good things happen like and it was so abysmal like it really was he was just so rude laughing like he was so and i'm like rude. i'm he the customer so, he was so rude like i'm giving it. you my i'm about to give you my money like, and you're laughing at me you know sometimes you walk away from a situation and you're like oh was i being dramatic but no yeah. i walk think back at that situation and i think he what was actually calm? we were so calm like mm. he was actually vile it's bizarre like i think, I think we were in shock i wasn't about what was going on so i wouldn't recommend I love that lip combo on you. It's literally just the Bobby Brown, Brown lip gloss. I just need a liner, but it's pretty. Listen, it's like tingly. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. It's the Fenty Heat. Do you know what I thought the other day? I love these, but the Blumen foil peels off the lid yeah, and it goes all over my face and I literally can't get it off. It's so annoying. I do like it, but it doesn't have that much color. Really? So you almost need like a good lip combo on you? Yeah, or I need to put some mascara on my lashes. Ah! Help! What mascara do you use? See, I stick lashes on so it really doesn't make a difference. True. Not every day actually, I don't put lashes on. You use that NARS one? Yeah. What do you, you like? like it? I actually don't mind it, do you not? I've not tried it. We're flashing. Oh my god, we're flashing, we really are. That means the battery's going, we're not actually flashing. But we're just going to wrap this up. We're both going to set our faces with different things. Urban Decay. No, she's doing MAC, I'm doing Urban Ooh, Decay. Mac. But I'm going to do mine in mix. If I talk afterwards, it crackles. It leaves oh, the lines. Oh, really? I yeah. No, I find the MAC one's better because it's more water-based. Yeah, it's very watery. Mm -hmm. It doesn't set my makeup for me. It leaves a nice, it leaves my makeup looking nice, the skin, but I don't feel it keeps it in. Right, that does. I tried the matte version of this, do not recommend it. No. I absolutely despised it, accidentally bought it. No, no, no. Is it the one in the lighter purple? And it yeah, leaves white So annoying. Yes, I just hate it. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know if you did, because we'll do more of these. Yes. Kind of like gossipy. We need the night out ones back. We do need the night out ones back. It's a bit more of a ravey vibe. Yeah. But we just wanted, like, I like the gossip section we did in today's one. Yeah, well, we really We're not normally like that, but come on, let's just. 
Why not? Why not? We all love a gossip. Have a chit chat. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I'll do my best to link our products in the description box below. M's face and my face. <laughs> my face. And we will just see you in our next one. Bye guys. Bye. It's gonna oh, all fall off. off. It's like it's like we think it's oh just gonna fall off. Careful, it's wonky chair. I didn't realise until just it's that. Silent chair, but it's wonky. It's very satisfying. I'm telling you. Stop. I'm like absolutely <laughs> watching. <laughs> Look like that because it will go in the lines. <laughs> Why do I lean my head back like that? I don't know because you're really far away from me. I'm scared you're gonna whack me with the mirror. I'm not I'm actually like way too far away from you. <laughs> yeah. not doing anything. There we go. That's good. That was good. Amazing. Oh gosh. Right. Everything. You happy? Yeah.